It's windy. And I came to film the grasses for their patterns, for their abstract. And then I saw this fence and it took my attention and it gave me inspiration. So now I'm back in the studio, nice and warm, out of the wind, and I'm going to use this uh, material that I filmed to see if I can inspire myself um, and find some interesting things to work into the encaustic wax. Video takes 25 frames a second, and what that means is that you can scroll backwards and forwards through them on the system to find the shot that you really want and drop that out as a still. Of course, you could just use a regular camera um, and then take the shots. You get better quality shots, but obviously you can't go backwards and forwards. You've got that shot and that's it. So a couple of days later, I went back with a still camera and a macro lens and I took some photos and some real close-ups. Good for ideas, color palettes. And then I started making sketches, little thumbnails to try and draw ideas out of ways of working with the wax. I might use them or I might not. And I started making notes as well, things that I wanted to do, uh, approaches I could take, we'll see. I also started to play around on the computer um, in some of the photo programs and look at effects and see how the computer handled the image and what it did, especially the pixelation effect in the lower middle here. That's really useful because when I select an image like these uh, reeds, and then take the detail out, so select the pixelation and just slide it to get less and less detail I end up with a palette of colours, quite greeny this one's lichen on the stones, cooler colours there but it's a palette, a quick way to get one and then I also had a look at um, contrast, exposure, just altered those around a bit just to see what would happen, but then it's time for wax as I was choosing the colours I remembered about the um, colour palettes that I dropped out from the photos and added extra colours as well from some of the computer effects that I'd seen, some brighter colours. And then I made a series of A6 cards, really just sort of trial test cards to get a feeling for working with the wax in these forms, just sort of expressing some instant memories if you like um, from things that I'd seen or things that I'd noticed in the film. And then it was time to get back to the wax and back to the grass fence again. This first piece is working onto a regular encaustic painting card. It's just an A6 sort of postcard size. And I'll just get rid of that bit of dirt there. I'm just using the iron. And what I'm trying to do is to express the feeling of the wind rattling through those grasses as it blew with them hooked onto the fence. It had blown them up there and caught them in its strands on all the crossover points. So I was just trying to express and portray that using the edge of the iron to slide and sort of um, shiggling the iron, wriggling it a bit, and then just polishing it up. And that was my first memory, first one done. And when I picked that card up, I noticed the residue of wax that was on the absorbent paper underneath was quite interesting. So I got the scribing tool just for scratching stuff off, and I ended up using the blade here. And I'm just scratching to find effects. It's that same thing. I'm trying to portray the feeling of movement and the colours I saw, the grasses. And it doesn't matter that this isn't a piece of artwork of any standing in itself. I'm just playing with the idea. And using the iron to melt through and to make some sort of crossover shapes really added to it. And then I had something that I remembered. And this is a macro photo that I'm looking at here. And I enjoyed that. So then it was time to look at one of my sketches. And this was just a, a wire line with the grasses flailing off it. And I thought that I'd have a go at that. 
So start off with the iron and just create a background onto a, a small A6 card. These are really sketches in wax, you know, they're not actual grand pieces of artwork or anything, they're just little sketches that I'm putting into wax to try and create um, some practices. And all this will come together hopefully later on in some bigger work. But for now I'm just using the stylus, just following the plan through where I've created some notes in sketch form, some little thumbnails, thoughts of how I've been affected by those grasses blowing in the wind. I, I'm still trying to catch that energy, still trying to connect with it through the wax. I'm just working gently. The stylus is a fantastic tool for this type of scribbling and, and I, I'm really quite good at scribbling. Uh, you can see as, as you work how it so easily remelts the wax that's already there. And that's a, a plus and a minus. Um, and I, here I am looking at the, the film and feeling that wind, that coldness, and using the colours. These colours aren't exactly the colours of the grass, but in those uh, reeds that we looked at a bit earlier on for the palette, there were greens and so on in that. So it's all drawn from the variety of things that have happened so far in my process and my memories of that experience with the fence. Because art really is, is about every moment of your life. It's not just about, oh, I'm going to do some art. If you're an artist, you're being in that process continuously. Every movement, every breath, every thought is part of the art. And that's what I'm, I'm trying to um, connect with. The, the memories of the fence, that experience, the wax, all those things. And it's such a lovely experience to be part of. And that was such an amazing feeling in that wind, seeing those grasses.